Howdy y'all, how's it going? I hope everybody is doing great. I am doing great. We got some snow last night in the middle of the night. Howard woke me up because he's a jerk and he does that all the time. And I looked outside and there was snow. But by the time I got up and around this morning, it was all gone. I wouldn't even have known it if old rascally Howard hadn't woke me up. Well, today I have some long-awaited Happy Mail. She sent this a while back and because of, you know, the way things are now with COVID, the mail is weird. But I finally received it. This is from CJ Denny. And I wanted to show you if it will focus. Sometimes it doesn't want to do right. It's her little puppy. Look there. Oh. I didn't even know you could do that on the little address sticker. It's her little poodle in a t-shirt. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't have room to put all mine on there. but So we're going to open some happy mail. And it's Hear that? Could it be some seeds or some beads or a chain? I don't know. I'm excited. Let's see what it is. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, look, you guys. So sparkly. Oh. That is pretty. It says, Hello from North Carolina. Gina recommended your channel. Oh, shout out to Gina. Van Life with Gina Payne. Y'all go check her out. I watched a few videos and love them. Here's a little goodie to add to your craft stash. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and it says, sending wishes for a holiday that sparkles. Merry and bright. Thank you, Elizabeth. This is wonderful. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I see a little chain. Maybe I can just slide this out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. Looky here. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. It's a little cork one. Oh, I love it. Let me show it to you guys. Let me get up here where I can show it to you guys. Look how pretty is that. Can you see the detail on there? It looks like a compass. And it's a little piece of cork. And, it, and it's painted like a compass. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much. I really like it. Here, let's see. I don't want to, oh, 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 we've got a clasp right here. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Oh, I really like it, and it's super light. Let's see here. Well, looky there. Now I can find my way. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so sweet. I appreciate you so much, and I'm going to have to stick these in our reading corner so they can be in there where everybody can enjoy them. I've got to redo the reading corner. I've received so many lovely, wonderful little cards that I'm going to have to redo. I think I'm going to have to get a piece of poster board and put maybe behind the chair and put more cards on there because it's filling up over there. I love it. It's such a cozy little corner. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. I love it. I love my new little goodie. Thank you. And uh, let's see. I got about 10 minutes left, so we'll chat a little bit. Um, mostly, I've been trying to get back on the diet train. You know, I know some of you don't really like the word diet, but it doesn't really have any negative connotations for me. Uh, when I started really using the word diet, I worked at the nursing home, and it just meant what people ate, whether they had a regular diet or a diabetic diet or a low calorie diet or extra calorie diet or if it was pureed or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So they, everybody had a diet card and I think it was a color for this or that or the other thing. And so that's what I think of when I say the word diet is just what you eat. <laughs> um, that's Vince running through acting crazy. 
he loves those little fluffy balls with the sparklies on them. He's been just having a good time at all hours with his <laughs> with his little sparkly balls. But yeah, I'm back on the diet thing. I've been doing pretty good. Of course, I'm not doing it really strictly low carb. I'm not counting my macros or anything yet, but I'm just trying to get back into that style of eating and cooking and kind of, you know, slowly phase out some of the more high carb items I have in my kitchen. I took a box of stuff over to Virginia, um, just like some flour, sugar, cornmeal, biscuit mix, stuff I know I'm not going to be using, cookie mix, you know, any kind of baked goods. So, um, I still do keep some bread and pasta because, you know, my husband's not going to be really low carb this time. Last time, he did everything with me. We went carnivore. We cleaned out the house. We didn't have any carbs in the house. So that, you know, that really helps because I had to quit sugar, completely quit sugar. Now, he still uses sugar. Um, it's uh, sugar in the raw. Let me get it real quick and show you. It's still sugar. It's cane sugar, but it's a little different. This is the kind of sugar he uses, sugar in the raw. And it's, you can see on the package, it's like, uh, more of a rough granule. It's not really fine and it does it takes a little longer to dissolve and it also um, uh, It's not really good like if you're gonna make cinnamon toast or something it's kind of crunchy So it's not like, like exactly like granulated sugar, but so that's the only sugar left in the house and um, yeah, so I'm cooking some different stuff and Starting to think about food again in the kind of a keto kind of way and I don't expect I'm going to start ketosis anytime soon because I'm not really counting my macros so then there you go. But the thing was was quitting sugar. Uh, the first time I did this, last year when I first started this, um, quitting sugar was very difficult. This time, way easier. In fact, I was kind of looking forward to it by the time I got there. See, like all during while I wasn't doing my diet I didn't want to even think about it I didn't want to worry about it because you know shopping we had some food scarcities and shopping was difficult and stressful and trying to find keto friendly foods when there's food shortages I just couldn't do it I was too stressed out and I couldn't do it so I just didn't even want to think about it but I knew if I waited I would come around to um, a, like a state of mind where I'd be like motivated and want to do it and that came right around the, the when the year ended like a couple of days before New Year I was like this is it I'm ready I'm ready to get back on keto I'm ready to lose some weight I'm tired of having headaches because when I eat sugar regularly I get headaches I don't know why but it's true so I'm happy to be back on the diet. I'm, I'm already getting some decent results and so I'm glad and it's working and the shopping is not as stressful as it was before and so yay. So that's the main thing I've been working on is getting my kitchen kind of emptied out of sugary sweets and high carb foods and stuff like that. Also, we've been going to the vet a lot. Uh, little Naboo, this is Vince, but Little Naboo had a um, kind of like a respiratory infection and he was sneezing all the time you probably noticed in the videos he just sneeze 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 well I've been giving him his medicine at first the first time he went um, he had drops antibiotics drops and I wasn't really good at giving them to him and he wasn't really good at taking them and I don't think that he got all of that medication like a full round of antibiotics I don't think he got it because I would give it to him and he would sling his head around and some of the little droplets would come out so I have no idea how much of that medicine he actually took it was like half the bottle was gone before I got to where I could give it to him very well so I got it in little pills this time and that's been a lot easier because once he quit freaking out when I gave him a pill because it's like the first two or three times he kind of freaked out and you know was twisting around and trying to spit the pill out and stuff but now he knows that if he'll just go ahead and swallow that pill everything's over with and he'll get praised and he'll get a treat and stuff so it's way easier to give him the pills 
Um, and so I've been going to the vet for him. I've been going to the vet for, I got all of their flea pills again and gave all of them those. And I had a little nifty sticker to put on the calendar to remind me when to do it again. So uh, I've been spending some time taking care of the cats. We have one more appointment coming next month. Uh, and Norma Jean will go get her yearly checkup and rabies vax. And then everybody will be done. And we shouldn't, unless something unforeseen happens or somebody gets sick or hurt, uh, God forbid, that we shouldn't have to go back to the vet until, you know, booster time at the end of the year. So that's good. I'm getting all that done. And I'm doing a little bit of uh, kind of early spring cleaning, kind of in the crafty closet area. I kind of got that messed up again, but I've been going through that and cleaning that. I've been watching some um, keto videos to help remember the kind of foods I should be eating and mostly I've been watching Dr. Ken Berry. I just really like his attitude and the way he presents information. He's kind of no-nonsense and uh, um, he's talking about keto in the way that I'm wanting to do keto along with intermittent fasting, which isn't hard for me, you know, because... Um, once I get on a keto diet, fasting is not a problem. When I'm eating a traditional diet with carbs and sugar, you know, pretty much whenever I want them, I can't fast. I get headaches, fatigue, sometimes nausea. I get real gripey and um, it's bad. Whenever I'm on sugar, I just, I can't go more than, you know, six or eight hours with having a little something to eat. If I'm on a regular traditional diet, I better get up and eat breakfast in the morning or I'm going to get a headache and feel bad. And Keto diet, not at all. That doesn't happen at all. I get up in the morning, I have my coffee, but I don't eat any food until early afternoon. I don't even want any. I don't feel hungry because there's so much like good fats and stuff in keto that it's the satiety from eating that stuff is, is long lasting for me. And uh, I have been noticing a few signs of, you know, the keto lifestyle. I've been restless at night, not sleeping really good because I have a lot more energy. So I don't think I'm needing as much sleep. I was sleeping a lot. Uh, now, not so much. But it's working good. Everything's going pretty good. My family are doing real good. And uh, other than Naboo's little respiratory infection, which is under control now and he has stopped sneezing completely I haven't heard him sneeze in two days and he was sneezing all the time whenever he'd get excited and start playing he would sneeze and sometimes he'd had a little breathing attack you know a little breathing fit but uh yeah he's getting much better I haven't heard him sneeze in two days so that's awesome and what else just it just snowed last night it was so pretty I didn't expect it to snow this year I'm really glad that it did and um, I guess that's about it. Nothing real exciting. I'm going to try and get in Chapter 22 of The Secret Garden today. So if you'd like to join me for that, that'll be really fun. And if you don't know about that, you can find the whole story up until Chapter 22 um, in my playlist with the title The Secret Garden. And you can watch that and catch up with us if you're interested. So... I guess I'm going to go and uh, try and get that done, make a little lunch, clean up after these cats. Most of them are in there asleep in my bed, resting up to torment me this evening while I'm trying to do stuff. But, uh, okay, I'm going to go. And thanks for joining me, you guys. And until next time, y'all be sweet.